Paul McCartney looks set to perform The Beatles' Now and Then, live for the first time on his upcoming tour. The legendary musician has been posting sneak peeks of his pre-tour preparations on Instagram as he embarks on his Got Back Tour, which will stop in Europe, the United Kingdom, and South America in the coming weeks. Many are wondering if Macca will be performing the Beatles' final song, which was published last year with the aid of AI technology, live on stage for the first time, as they eagerly for the tour to restart. Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, George Harrison, and John Lennon were all members of the Fab Four until the release of Now and Then in November 2023. Rumor has it that McCartney may have performed Now and Then during soundcheck on September 30th at Uruguay's Centenario Stadium in Montevideo in anticipation of his concert there tonight, October 1st, according to film that fans have uploaded. The musician's YouTube channel included behind-the-scenes footage of the Got Back tour rehearsals, which seemed to validate rumors that it will be in the official set list. On the screens, some observant fans could be seen what seemed like stills from the song video. Near the song's release date, NME visited Apple Corps' London headquarters to learn more about the song's production. According to McCartney, who spoke in a mini-documentary about the loss of John, an interesting opportunity arose, and how they realized it was truly gone. After Yoko Ono gave John Lennon a cassette with his demos, the three of them headed to the studio to salvage and complete what they could. As part of the Beatles anthology series, two of the tracks, Real Love and Free as a Bird, would be published. But on the third, there was no way to rescue the recording of John Lennon's voice and piano, only because John was hidden was it brought to the fore to the three of us that he was gone, according to Starr. They were able to extract the band's comments from his Get Back documentary series on the creation of Let It Be by utilizing artificial intelligence technology, the same one employed by Peter Jackson, director of The Lord of the Rings. In December, McCartney will return to the United Kingdom for a tour that will feature two Manchester concerts and two London events. If there are any leftover tickets, you may get them here. To commemorate the 60th anniversary of the band's triumphant entry into the American market, Apple TV Plus will be releasing a documentary titled 1964 this year.